So what we do at Oracle and sports and entertainment specifically is we have what we call the fan journey. And this is essentially an internal uh, flow that we, d we developed that tracks the fan journey from before they enter your venue, throughout their time through the venue, the, the sporting event, whatnot, um, and then when they leave. We have to be able to, uh, as I said before, implement operational efficiencies, drive throughput through each one of these distribution streams. How do we do that? We do that with adding more um, opportunities for people to order. We do that by, um, by offering different types of ordering with respect to selfless cash, uh, cashless self-ordering, to kiosks. Kiosk, I mean, they have a huge opportunity in stadiums. They help to put the controls from a labor perspective back to the venue, back to the food service, so they can dictate, okay, I want to have these people here, and I want to reduce it from maybe four points of sale for, for kiosk, I mean, for cashiers to maybe two, and then have a fulfillment person, have a person that's kind of helping the people use the, the self-service kiosk. It also helps really pressure from the actual lines from people who are wanting to wait in line and get to an actual person. So kiosks, they have a long way to go. Um, they've traditionally kind of been on the perimeter and in other markets but I think bringing them into s and &E, um, definitely has a huge opportunity to help, you know, provide some controls back to the venue. 45% of fans have been in a concession line at least once in the past 12 months without making a food and beverage purchase. Pretty astounding. You know, you, you, we, we pretty much know these things, but once you see it in black and white, it definitely uh, is an eye-opener. Um, everyone is aware of chip and pen. You know, sometimes you insert your chip, and it tells you to take it out and swipe it, then it tells you to reinsert it. You know, all of those crazy things that happen. And a lot of venues have, you know, kind of shied away from that because they feel like it will slow down the line, and, you know, they don't want to have to deal with that and just make it easy to get people through the line. But that's what we work with, you know, going out and, you know, really working with tight partners like Freedom Pay, who's here somewhere, who's really helped kind of change the game there and really kind of get in front of that to take the complexities out of it, right? So we've partnered with them and, you know, they handle all of that. It makes it super easy for the fan. So the fan is actually, you know, swiping their card, dipping their card, or tapping through a very secure payment platform. And the venue and the food service, they're also getting those securities because they're not giving up, you know, not, you know, accepting those types of technology. So working with the right folks can really, you know, pay huge dividends to make sure that, you know, the fan is still getting what they need from a secure payment and then, you know, also making it easy for them to get through line and not increasing the time to get through the line. So 56% so of fans say that they would probably use it, definitely use a mobile app and, and you know, to, to place an order and then pick it up from an express line. And express lines, that th those are actually picking up. You know, when we started working with a few venues, you know, a, few, a couple of years ago, it, delivery was a huge opportunity, right? Like everything was going to be delivered, you know, but actually what we saw at the same, at those same venues were things trend and turn towards picking up the orders. You know, fans just thought that they could pick it up on the way to the bathroom, the way to the team store, you know, or something like that. But we actually saw the numbers shift towards, you know, picking it up from, uh, from the actual express line. This number, I think, can, will continue to grow as, again, venues start to connect the point of sale and the mobile apps um, so that they're tied together and everything is coming from one ecosystem and they're not disparate systems. Everyone, you know, knows Alexa and, and, and the whole Echo thing. So, you know, if you're in a suite, you know, telling Alexa to send another tray of nachos, send another, you know, case of beer, you know, to your suite. Like, those are the sorts of things that we're looking to enable as well because those are things that people use in their daily life already. And how can we make that, you know, bring that technology into our world and tie it to POS to make it easier to transact, right? Because one of the things we also got from the study was that, you know, buying food and beverage is an impulse buy. So when the fan, you know, is ready, to, you know, to purchase something, we want to make sure that we're able to accept that transaction and accept their money at any time, you know, so whenever they're ready, you know, we want to be right there, you know, ready to transact.